Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we'll be talking about the AGM-12 Bullpup. It was developed in the early 50s to meet a requirement for a guided air-to-ground weapon. However, because of its, some of its shortfalls, it was replaced beginning in the early 60s with the walleye and other precision-guided munitions. Final phase out of the weapon was in the early 70s, although tens of thousands of them were built. For DCS, we have three variants, A and B, both having 250-pound warheads, B having a slightly longer range, and C variant, which is shown here on the pylon, having a much larger warhead and even further range. Unfortunately, as of May of 2024, the C variant is not activated for the F4E in DCS. The bullpup is a manual command line of sight system. This means the pilot has to control the flight of the bullpup using a joystick in the cockpit. This points out two drawbacks to the system. One is the pilot has to keep both the target and the bullpup in sight at all times. And the pilot has to control two different aircraft with two different types of inputs in order to get the bullpup on target. This is a snapshot of a bullpup attack. You can see the bullpup and its flares as it's proceeding towards the target. The goal of you as a pilot is to fly the bullpup to superimpose it on the target. In the aircraft, the pilot uses this joystick located next to the throttle quadrant in order to control the bullpup. For DCS, I'd recommend that you use the HODAS to control those inputs. You can either do it through a switch position, in my case I have it bound to my throttle, or as an axis, which I have bound to an axis button on my throttle. Setting up for bullpup attack is pretty straightforward. We can refer to the embedded manual for the module and go to uh, normal procedures, AGM-12 bullpup, and find the following steps. Optical sight, we'll set it to air to ground. Weapons delivery mode is set to AGM-12. Weapons release mode is direct select the station buttons we tend to employ. In this case, I have four bullpups mounted. I have all four stations armed. In that case, it will allow me to re-attack in case my first one misses. And of course, master switch arm. Once the target is in view, we will place the pipper over the target. Once we're satisfied we're close enough, We'll press and hold the bomb button and then use our HOTAS controls to guide the missile onto the target. Approaching the target area, I've elected to use one of the larger ships. I'll put the pipper on the target and I'm using the AFCS to stabilize. Once I'm within solid visual contact with the target, I will go ahead and release the bullpup and attempt to steer it into the target using the joystick. Shack. As you can see, this attack highlights three problems with the bullpup system. First of all, the difficulty in controlling the missile onto the target. Secondly, the attack requires you to close to the target, which may put you within weapons engagement range of any defensive forces there. And thirdly, the bomb warhead is very small. That attack, a direct hit, resulted in minimum uh, damage. Therefore, I would say the AGM-12 is probably at the bottom of my list as far as weapons I would use in the F4E. And probably only use it if it was the only weapon available or 
or some unusual requirements dictate that I use it. I hope this has been helpful. I wish you all a good day and push out.